Mother! Your mother? <laughs> oh, so yeah, we're uh, still playing Kirby's Dream Land 2 if you haven't noticed. Oh, Canada! Our home man native la Okay, that joke's something funny once. Yes. Also, for some reason, I jumped right back into the Warp Star. Maybe it's because I have a fish that doesn't move up. You, you want to demonstrate that you can visit previous worlds. Uh, yeah, except I go the same way. Well, yeah, but you want to just also, demonstrate the... It's time, ah! it's time for Revenge of the Propeller Bomb. Take that, you <laughs> asshole. That's, that is for the owl. Tell me I can't fly free. So, yeah, this is a place where if you have the fire power up, this is like the first place... Well, no, that's not the first place. But you know how certain power-ups actually break certain blocks? You need fire for ice, believe it or not. I can't believe that. What's what's this ice you speak of? Also, I'm just dicking around with propeller bombs because I can. You, you know, since you had the embarrassing moment with the light in that one tunnel... Oh, uh, embarrassing moment? And with that, uh, I will share one embarrassing Kirby moment that I had. Um, on Kirby 64, Crystal Shards and whatnot, where every level basically has a block that's colored, and you use a special ability of that color oh, yeah, to open it. Yeah, there's that one volcano level. Yes, I know There's exactly. that black and orange magma pile. Yes. Yeah, I needed to gain facts that you needed to use ice on that. Yeah, I, I could not understand that in the least. I mean, it's like, hey, I, I so think every other place in this game, like if it's green, you use cutter because cutter is green. Or if you if you uh, have a brown and orange one, you use dynamite because dynamite is, is those colors. No. So anyway, this is the ice ability. It lets you talk about Kirby 64. Yes. Also, it makes the ice blocks, which makes the things happen in the people. And you just killed an ice monster with ice. Actually, I think it's stone, stone in this. it is. That's blocked. Yeah. And here is the part of Kirby where you're on rails. It's kind of Automatic like, Kirby! It's actually like a Sonic game now. Where you're completely on rails. No, the camera's too good. Oh, okay. Ah! So you're saying, it, so you're saying it's like Sonic 3. You complete with the ultimate ski jump at the end. But yeah, speaking of Sonic, Sonic Bond was awesome, and I'm looking forward to the Sonic Generations just to see what happens. And now that Sonic's done, we are still on rails with Stone, while I'm destroying random things. These random things may or, not, may or may not be blocks. Yeah, just returning to a point we made earlier, um, how basically stone, spark, and needle are basically the same thing. Stone, the deal is you're invincible while you use stone, and you roll down hills. Right. Needle is you damage nearby enemies, and you can't move. And spark is you damage nearby enemies, and you can't move. Yeah. And unfortunately with stone in this game, I don't know if it's due to hardware limitations for some reason, or just because they decided to make it different, but you do not stay in stone form forever. Now, uh, Kirby Superstar, you stay in form as long as you're using the ability. Well, it, it definitely isn't hardware limitations, because it would take more processing to actually put a time limit on stone. It makes sense, then. Which they did, so they're actually... So, in other words, they're just decking you over. Yeah. But, again, we are... Once it, we're once again back with the uh, Umbrella and Owl combo. Which is... This Owl is kind and not Koo, because Koo is not a sound that Owl makes. It's the obligatory, this is a Kirby game, and here's all the power-ups you can have room. Exactly, which I actually tend to enjoy about this game. It's like, yep. here, try whatever the freaking hell you want. Also- Uh-oh, no, 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 run away, run away! Haha, ha, propeller ball, haha, ha, propeller ball. 
See, now I can actually defend myself. Well, you could have defended yourself with the umbrella, just or parasol, just because, just that you didn't, because you're a pro player. Well, the fact that that one is, um. So you deny that you are a pro player? No, I do not deny that. <laughs> what I deny is, uh, what I do not deny is rubber banding. Yes, this game has rubber banding just like Mario Kart. See, the thing is, when you're coming from a horizontal view, the blue shell comes and hits you, and um, then then Peach takes first place, and Bowser hates you. Oh, here's the other awesome ability. Uh, the thing is, the thing is, the owl gets like every freaking awesome ability. Owl, use your thunder attack! Oh, awesome. So yeah, the obligatory butt walrus fight. Yes, hello butt walrus. And the thing is, it, he, it looks like he's wearing a skirt, skirt in this one rather than actually having butt visible. Yeah, but whoever heard of a skirt with, uh, what you calls it? A skirt with a visible butt area. Uh, yeah, let's go. Suspenders is the word I was looking uh, for. I was gonna say the Irish with, or not, not the Irish, the Scots with their kilts. Yeah, but they're Scots. Also, Ice Power-Up. The single best uh, close-range power-up in the game that you don't use against a mini-boss. It is a shield of invincibility that surrounds you as long as it's in effect against normal enemies. Yeah, this must have been what I was thinking of when I said that the light bulb fried you if you charged it too long. Yeah, except... Because this turns you into a block of ice. Yeah, which I will demonstrate once again here in just a sec. Haha, <laughs> you're in ice. That's cold. Oh. But yeah, you, you are not just, you're not an ice block, you are an ice. And you can freeze propeller bombs as well. Which makes sense. Stay something... frosty. Ho oh, ho ho ho. That was sure is a cool power up. It sure is power up around here today. <laughs> I just wonder what Ganon's up to. <laughs> Don't ignore me, we're ignore us, we're nerds. <laughs> you could say that you're the Ice King. Oh god. Adventure time! <laughs> My boy, this is what ultra power ups strive for. Okay, that, that that only works a little bit. Uh, I don't think ice is very effective against the Ifrit guy. No, but double star power-ups are. Yep. So, yeah, I'm going to do one of the most dangerous things in this game. Going through an area that is auto-scrolling with single-shot, slow-moving projectiles, where you have to do some precise jumping to uh, hit blocks that need to be destroyed on your way to the exit. Blindfolded. While drunk. And the screen's upside down. Uh, you you folks at home don't see the upside down part because it would make for a very boring video. But trust me, the screen is upside down. And walking uphill both ways from school uh, in ten foot snowdrifts, so wait. And broken glass. Yes, broken glass. So yeah, except for the fact that I managed to pull it off, and I completely also forgot that there were more um, more power ups for the uh, fire at the end there. So I didn't actually need to do that. <laughs> This is what we call evolution. Survival of the fittest. I'm also uh, showing off the fact that I shouldn't be able to hit those, yet I'm still able to do it. And, uh, hey, look, it's a trap area. Now, this... I, I still claim that this is the hardest uh, rainbow drop to get. You, would, you get rid of an ability in the water, it does not last long at all. It will dissipate very quickly, which means you need to get that quickly after you inhale those blocks. Um. So yeah, let's. Go when, to when you leave an animal companion, does he turn into a star, or does he actually stand there? Oh, if you get rid of an animal comp companion, he's gone. Okay. Also, we we just got a rainbow drop. Now this this is a Gordo. 
But no, we're we're going to go re <laughs> re get the rainbow drop. <laughs> I thought we had another movie hiccup, but yeah, you you got the rainbow drop. No, don't touch the Gordo. No, yeah, we'll we only have one whole left. Okay, no, we're we're. Oh, you get the Gordo. Okay. Game over. Game over the end. <laughs> Plus plays finished. So yeah, this is what happens if you uh, decide to go for that. You realize, oh my god, I could have gotten the rainbow drop instead of a one-up, but I didn't. So now I'm trapped forever at the end. Except that you do that and now you're Kirby again, which means you can play the game. And I got a maximum tomato, which I actually didn't need, which is that thing that was down there, which was totally not a spider, but an actual maximum tomato. Yeah, when I was really little and playing this game for the first time... Uh, you're gonna punch me for this, but they're just called tomatoes in this game. Are you serious? They're maximum tomatoes yep. everywhere. Yep. No, I refuse to say that. It's It's got M on it. It's a maximum <laughs> tomato, goddammit. I refuse to believe that that's in the freaking manual. Oh, wow. They, they uh, even... They even don't call them one-ups. They're just one... Ups, there's no hyphen. Wow. Also, this is the- Nerr! He's all like, oh my god, I can fly. Oh, no, wait, no, this is an Ice Dragon. This is Tail version 2.0. See, this is Sega's other design that Nintendo stole because Nintendo is actually Sega. Yep, my, my uncle works at Sega, so I know these things. <laughs> also, because of invincibility, I'm not freezing. So, you, uh, you, you think it's because of the fire, but nope. I will say this in seriousness, as you can see, fire does a great deal more damage than it really should to things. It gives you invincibility going through the boss, it generally gets you to a safe distance from the boss. Except for when the boss has still... Ah, so it's called burning, not fire. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> End of movie coming up. Yeah, alright, yeah, see y'all later. <laughs> Oh, God.